is Hall's Kitchen. This is our third episode, and I'm your host, Linda Fun. And you might be confused, we're Sabrina. And she's already there and ordering for us. And today we have our same pasta. Let's go inside and see. Hi, so welcome back. And now we finally have Sabrina here. Hello, I'm your host, Sabrina Silos. And for this episode, we're going to be talking all about pasta. So, Linda, what are your favorite types of pasta? Oh, there are so many, and I really like spaghetti, and I love shells when I was young. Ooh, that sounds so good. I know, so how about you? I really love linguine, um, any t sort of like bow tie pastas, or when they're colorful. Yeah, just anything. Pasta is so fun. Yeah, and we are so excited to try, but before we try, just see what taste of pasta have for us. Welcome back to Taste of Boston. I'm Mary Malloy. And I'm Connor Wolf. And today we're digging into some pasta from nowhere other than Maggiano's. Maggiano's. Sometimes you don't want to go to the restaurant, you want to eat in. So we decided to bring it to us. Yes, I am so excited. I'm going to be completely honest, Connor. I prefer to eat in my room, in my own little home, where I can just sit down, watch some pretty little liars in peace, and munch on some delicious bread. I agree, there's nothing better than a TV night dinner with some close friends. <laughs> so, so why don't we just get into it? Let's just dig in. So today we have spaghetti and meatballs with... Um, we also got some cheese to go. You need this, clearly. And what other than butter and... Bread. Yum. Okay, so, so let's... Should we start with the bread as like a first... You know what? Uh, I like the way you think. Would you do the honors? Of course. So, okay. They gave us some rolls. Here we go. It smells delicious. It's crunchy here. Do you want... There. You can Thank rip it you. in if you want. So we have a little to-go utensils. A necessity whenever you're eating out. And if you want to have a more eco-friendly approach to this, um, you can get, obviously, metal ones or even plastic ones from Target. Snag some from the DH. Some butter, my lady. Of course, my king. Okay, nice ready? Bread. Should we cheers? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Okay. My thoughts. Butter is very creamy. The bread. butter is really good. Oh, real butter. Mm -hmm. The bread is crunchy, soft on the inside. Mm. This is ridiculously good, and I'm not even exaggerating because I don't like bread. I know that's a weird statement, and it's kind of bold to say, but this is so good. I mean, I, they gave us three, three rolls. The butter is a necessity, though. I would not eat this bread plain. I need the butter. Okay. I'm interested to see how it is when you dip it into the red sauce. Uh oh, I bet you feel another piece. <laughs> so next, the main course. I'm so excited for this. We both got spaghetti and meatballs. And can, look at this. Oh my god, look at the size of it. One giant meatball. Sign me up. <laughs> Just like that the one. lady. <laughs> lady in the tram, you can do that with anyone you want. <laughs> do you want to lick it off my nose? <laughs> no. Okay, that's okay. That's why we have napkins. <laughs> so, can't wait to try it. Do you want some Parmesan cheese? Um, you know, Connor, I like to try my food before I add stuff to it. That makes one of us. <laughs> so I'm gonna Okay, let's some parm. Mm -mm -mm. Spaghetti and meatball, welcome to Italiano. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like with cheese. So interestingly <laughs> enough, mine, mine actually has sauce all around it, and hers does not. Well, it does, I just haven't moved it around. I had not moved mine around either. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut up the meatball. Let's let's dissect the meatball, and let's review the texture, the taste. Okay. Good let's idea. Do let's do it. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. That sauce is so good. Yeah. It's full of flavor. So full of flavor. So much so, I'm gonna add some cheese to it. Yeah, it was good. It was soft. The sauce around it was just the right amount of sauce. Still nice and warm. 
Let's try it like the actual pasta now. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Wow. It's cooked perfectly. I know I know pasta is easy to make. I don't know how to make it. I know you just put it in water and you just wait for the time directed, but it's never the right texture. And this is the perfect texture. It's just chewy enough, just hard enough. The, there's not too much sauce on it, not enough sauce. It's truly, <laughs> I want more. <laughs> I know, I'm already going in for yeah. more. I, this is my first time, <clears throat> excuse me, this is my first time eating from Maggiano's, wait. Maggiano. Maggiano. Like this, Maggiano. Maggiano. Yeah. So this is my first time eating from Maggiano. And it is so good. It's right next to Emerson too. I'm surprised it's taking me this long to discover it. Last semester on campus, I feel a little cheated out of my time with Maggiano's, but guess where I'm eating for the next four weeks? Shall we grab some bread, dip it in the sauce? Give me some bread. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I think the bread is just so good. It tastes good with anything. Connor, you know what this is perfect for? What? I think we should do a little Pretty Little Liars binge session. Order two of these to go every Friday. You can order it to go? Order it online to go. They even have a special pickup window at the Columbus Ave location. It's honestly a no-brainer. Then it's a date. What do we order? We ordered the chicken marsala today, and I'm so excited. It looks so delicious. I know, and it goes separate plates, so let's try it. Awesome. Oh, yeah, let's let's do the separate. Mm. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> when we taste them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because when we taste the salsa and the mushroom first, it's a little bit sour. But like if you whisk the spaghetti, it just changes its all flavor, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Yeah, it's really good. There's like caramelized onions and mushrooms. It's really good with the sauce. It's really good. Do, pasta's good. So do you cook spaghetti at home or like pasta by yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my favorite pasta dish is linguine and I put kale, sausage, onions, mushrooms and um, like heavy whipping cream and I make like a white sauce and it's really delicious. Um, put some seasonings and it's like really perfect. Oh, that's so cool. So let's see how culinary kitchen have for us in the kitchen. Hi, welcome back to College Kitchen Culinary Creations. I'm Quinn. And I'm Emily. And we're a little sad today because it is the last episode of the season. We're feeling a little somber. But, but the good thing is, is that we're making pasta today. And we're just gonna be making spaghetti with olive oil and garlic, which is just a really easy meal to make. Um, and it tastes really good. And it kind of reminds us of the food that we ate in Italy. Yeah, because you know, studied abroad. Um, and pasta is just such a good, like, feel good meal, pick me up meal. Mm -hmm. Good if you're gonna run a race the yes. next day, you gotta pull up those carbs. So we're just really excited, and it's really easy, and it'll just taste really delicious. So, yeah, let's get, get started. started. So, what you need for this meal is kind of self explanatory, but we'll show you anyway. Um, we're gonna have some diced garlic. And then we're gonna have spaghetti, but we're not gonna use the whole box, we're just gonna use a fourth of it. And then finally, olive oil. So the first step to make this meal, you're just gonna grab a pot and fill it with water about two thirds of the way. And then you're gonna put it on the stove and wait till it boils. As you can see now, it is boiling. So we're just gonna add in the pasta. As the pasta cooks, we're just gonna set a timer for 10 minutes, just so that we can get the spaghetti nice and al dente. Okay, so now we're going to do the olive oil and garlic. We're just going to take a separate pan, uh, put the heat on around five, and then you're just going to put the olive oil in. 
just want to like kind of cover the bottom of the pan and then I'll put the garlic in. And it's just really important important when cooking garlic that you just keep an eye on it at all times because it does turn brown really fast it can burn so you just want to make sure as soon as you see like the first piece turning the slightest bit brown you get it off the stove <laughs> now that the pasta is cooked we're just gonna drain out all the water and be careful because it is really hot and even the steam will burn you <laughs> So now we're just gonna, the garlic is all done being cooked, so we're just gonna pour the garlic and oil over the spaghetti. And then you really just wanna just mix it around so you get all the spaghetti with all the flavors. And now we can just put it into a bowl and eat. So now just to top off our spaghetti, make it a little fancy, we're putting some parsley on it, just a little taste. Yeah, and some pepper also. Just add a little flavor. And, and flavor. you can put anything you want on it. You can put Parmesan cheese, you could do crushed red pepper flakes. Yes. Just however you like your pasta, just customize it and, you know, make it, spice it up a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Okay, I'm gonna have to try it too. Let's see. My spaghetti skills aren't that good at twirling, so this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Mm. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. It tastes. Like it's such a good home cooked meal for especially us while we're at college. You know, you don't get the best meal from the dining hall. It's such a good way to just like make your own, and it tastes like you're in your mom's kitchen. Yeah, and it's actually just like really easy to make. Like, of course, it takes like a while to like boil the water, but like once that's done, everything just like really fast, and it's just like really easy to make. And now you have like a huge box of spaghetti that you can just make this meal multiple times. <laughs> it's been great getting to share our college dorm recipes with you guys to hopefully spice up that dorm life and get some good food in your stomachs. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm so happy that we get to share these recipes with you and hopefully you try them out yourselves. Thank you! Bye! Bye. Welcome back to Bougie on a Budget. So the food prompt this week was to make pasta on $20, which you think would seem kind of easy, maybe simple, like it's pasta and sauce, what can you kind of mess up? Um, I don't know if you've already seen the kitchen we're afforded with. Uh, uh, I don't have a lot of room and there's no oven. We're gonna take you through our little adventures at Trader Joe's and we'll get to cooking straight away. See you soon. That man only has bananas and milk. So we're running into a little bit of a problem here. Um, $20 is our budget and we're already up to 15 with this. And obviously, no pasta, no chicken, no sauce, and I'm a little worried. Um, I don't really like bland pasta. We have our pasta cooking. But I just came to the realization, the recipe calls for chicken broth and also flour, and neither of those things are things we have, but 
when you're cooking in a dorm, you don't always have money to buy things because you're going to a really expensive college, just like me. So we're gonna make the recipe work without it. I'm just gonna get started on cooking the chicken and the onions. So good, it looks like the pan's hot, which is nice. Um, cool. Yo, this chicken's going to make the best sizzle sound ever. Ready for this? Oh, 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 yeah. So now comes the hard part. Seeing as we don't have the chicken broth or the flour, which is what we uh, needed. Um, we're gonna just add more cheese because everyone loves cheese and an Alfredo sauce is made of cheese. So why not, you know, pour it away? So it calls for two cups milk and then a half cup of cream. Um, I think I called out the Great British Baking Show in like the first episode because I have been obsessed with that show for years. And just like think of the multitasking that some people like who are only given like an hour to do something that would take three hours are thinking like everything that needs to be on their minds and making it actually look pretty. Like good lord, I would be so terrified to do something like that. Maybe I should. Comment in the comment section below if there is one that if you would like to see me on there because I would love to go to Britain. Bye. I'm just speaking out loud at this point, but what else did you subscribe for? You know, come on. You all like the thoughts that go on in my head. That's why you tune in every single week and you like and subscribe every single time you do. Okay, I have some thoughts. So, yes, I wish it were saucier. Is it bad? No, it's not bad. It tastes like food. Food tastes great, you know? And if you're going to be eating at a dining hall where you don't get any variation, they serve the same basic pasta and marinara sauce, you're gonna get so bored. So I think it's really cool to try a challenge like this. Give yourself a limited budget because we all have budgets in, in college or whatever school you're studying in. Um, because, you know, school's expensive and this would be more of a realistic meal. And also, you know, when you forget ingredients, you have to roll with it, you know? And it truly isn't bad. Thanks for tuning in. I've had a wonderful time doing this for you guys. I hope you had some laughs, maybe. I don't know. Or have some inspiration to try something new in the kitchen. Or just cook in general, because cooking can be really fun. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope to see you next time, whenever that will be. And stay cooking. Should I say stay bougie? <laughs> stay bougie! My name is Tori Serpico and I'm your food expert here on College Kitchen Sliced and where's our host Joe? I don't know where he went. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize we were filming. I, I, I went to go get, you know, food. Before we started eating more food. Joe, are you, is this your first lunch? It's my fifth. This is your fifth lunch. Is this going to be your sixth lunch today? Uh-huh. Sounds great. Well, today on Slice, we're going to be cooking pasta. 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 My pasta. Pasta. My favorite food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's going to be a good one. Aren't we both Italian, too? We are. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh Mamma boy. mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. So, our food expert today is going to be telling us a little bit more about our ingredients. So, what are we going to be using today, Tori? Well, the star of the show is gonna be the pasta. We're gonna have two contestants cooking up two different pasta dishes for us today. We've got lots of great vegetables, some mushrooms, some carrots, some cabbage, garlic, cooking oil, it's gonna be great, but my favorite, cheese. And you know, we got some Parmesan, and I think this episode, let's watch out for the eggs. They're rolling around, oh no. This episode's gonna be great, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we're going to be meeting our two lovely contestants. And it's going to be 
great. I'm sorry, I can't I can't resist doing that again. Alright, so come on down, contestant number one. Do 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 uh, hi, I'm Stasia. And so contestant two, come on down. Do, 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 do. Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Abby. I'm a journalism student here, and I'm also a freshman. Awesome. So um, tell us a little bit about what you're going to make today. So today I'm going to make a mushroom carbonara, and it's going to be meatless. And the main sauce all made with egg yolk, and I hope you guys like it. Sounds delicious. Love a good carbonara. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us a little fun fact about yourself. So since today is a uh, pasta in Ratatouille, and I see friends there, um, I've watched Ratatouille the movie like five times. So yeah, because I'm. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, God bless. All right. So we're gonna get cooking. Five seconds. We're gonna start. Five, five four, four, three, two, one. one. Go, start go, cooking. Go. Start cooking. That Make the pasta. We are the judges. <laughs> My name is Cindy. I'm Liz. And I'm a Moog. Let's lo look at this food and try it out. Okay, do you want to tell us what you prepared for us today? So today I made mushroom carbonara and it's completely meatless and it's mushrooms, so it's like a lot of mushrooms in my stove. <laughs> yeah. So now it's in the Acer can of the Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese noodle and uh, I just make the uh, cucumber and the uh, carrot and the uh, cabbage. And this is kind of the uh, thing like the uh, mushroom because they live in the same environment. And this is egg, and uh, this is the uh, uh, red pepper, and then use oil to put, cover it. They both look amazing. We cannot wait to try them. So let's dig in. Yeah. Liz is trying it first, and we are mixing both dishes. And let's see how it goes. Liz, how I do you think it, it tastes? What's the, what's the that was so good. The, like It has such a nice creamy sauce on it, and the mushrooms mixed together with the pasta was amazing. Do you want to try some? Yo. Yo. Hey, isn't that good? Yo. I just nut. That, so that was so good. So let's try this one first. That was very good. I really like the mushroom. It was really creamy. I like a parmesan too. Yeah. Really good flavors. It's not powder. <laughs> that is absolutely Oh my god. Splendid. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. I'm gonna twirl this for you because you cannot use okay. chopsticks. <laughs> so here's your bite. Slurp it. Slurp. Slurp. <laughs> mm. Is it mushroom? It tastes really good. It was really flavorful. Oh 
my god, that's so good. I really like that it has like a hint of like a spiciness, which you don't mm -hmm. get in like traditional pasta dishes. And like all the flavors combined are really, really well done together. All right, so we ended up picking this dish, this, this one. one. Yeah. I mean, Abby, you did a really good job with the carbonara, and mm -hmm. it was absolutely delicious, and the umami was absolutely there. But there was just something about this that just reminded me so much of my home-cooked food and, like, what my grandma used to make me, and it just really warmed my soul from the inside. It was just for me, it was all about what I would prefer when it came down to it. And so this was it. Um, so on that note, um, the winner gets a kiss from this rat. <laughs> from this rat named Remy. So, pack her up, sweetie. <laughs> yeah! Thank you for joining us on the last episode. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Catch us next year, not here. Tune in next semester mm -hmm. on Sliced. And with College Kitchen, thank you, Emerson Channel, for supporting us this semester. And please support us again. Don't cancel us. Don't cancel us, Don't cancel us please. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina, I'm so sad. Oh, uh, why? What's wrong? Because this is our last episode of the season. Oh, we had so much fun taking you guys all across the city, finding the best food here in Boston. Yes, and we really appreciate everyone who watched the whole season in our episodes. If you want to know more about College Kitchen, just make sure you follow our Instagram and YouTube. I'm your host, Linda Fun. And I'm your host, Sabrina Silos. Until next time, stay hungry.